Hi everybody, in this video we're going to be deriving the mirror equation. This equation gives us a relationship between the distances from the mirror to the object, its image and the focal point. This is given by 1 over the distance to the object plus 1 over the distance to the image is equal to 1 over the focal length. For the derivation of this, I'm going to draw a concave mirror. Now I'm going to label the focal point and the centre of curvature. Now I'm going to put an object in front of our mirror. This is my object, it has a height of HO and it has a distance away from the mirror. Now from the top of my object, I'm going to draw some rays. The first one is going to go through the centre of curvature and as we know, as it goes through the centre of curvature, it will bounce back through itself. The next ray that I'm going to draw is from the top of the object to where the principal axis intersects the mirror. From here, it will bounce off at the same angle as the principal axis goes through at a normal to the mirror. Now, where these two light rays meet up, right here, is where my image is going to be formed. So now I'm going to draw that in, and it is now going to have a height of hi, and it is going to have a distance, di, away from the mirror. The only last thing for the setup is going to be talking about some angles. So as standard, the principal axis is taken as being the zero line. Anything above it is positive and everything below it is going to be negative. So this angle up here is going to be called phi. It also means that the angle opposite to it, this one down here, is going to be negative phi or phi prime. The other angle we're going to be talking about is this one up here and it will be angle theta. And the one below the axis, this one, is going to have the angle theta prime or minus theta. Now we just need to do some maths. First, we're going to determine the relationship around our theta angle. So our first one, this one here, is going to show us the relationship between the height of the object and the distance it is away from the mirror. So tan theta is going to be equal to the height of the object divided by the distance it is away from the mirror. Our other theta triangle, our theta prime triangle here, is going to give us the height of the image and the distance it is away from the mirror. So tan theta prime is going to equal to the height of the image divided by the distance it is away from the mirror. Theta prime is also equal to minus theta. So therefore tan of theta prime is going to equal minus tan theta. As we now have two tan thetas, we can equate them equal to each other just by moving this negative onto the other side, which gives us the height of the object divided by the distance it is away from the mirror is equal to minus the height of the image divided by the distance the image is away from the mirror. Rearranging this so that we have all our heights on one side and our distances on the other, we get that minus the height of the object divided by the height of the image is equal to the distance the object is away from the mirror divided by the distance the image is away from the mirror. So this is our first two triangles. Now let's look at our second two. These are going to be around our phi angles, these two here. Looking at our first triangle with the phi angle, this one here, we're going to be looking at the relationship between the height of the object and the distance it is away from our center of curvature. Remember that the center of curvature is the radius of the circle that is our mirror. So this distance here between the object and our center of curvature is going to be the distance of our object minus the radius of our circle. This gives that tan of phi is equal to the height of the object divided by the distance that the object is away from the mirror minus the radius of the circle. Our second triangle, the one with phi prime, this one here, is going to give us the relationship between the height of the image and the distance it is away from the center of curvature. This distance from the center of curvature is going to be our radius minus the distance the image is away from our mirror. So tan of phi prime is going to be equal to the height of the image divided by the radius of the circle minus the distance to the image. Tan of phi prime is also the negative of just tan phi. So this is going to be equal to minus tan phi. Moving the negative over to the other side and assigning our two components equal to each other, then we get the height of the object divided by the distance the object is away from the mirror minus the radius of the mirror, which is equal to minus the height of the image divided by the radius of the circle minus the distance of the image.
again, rearranging our formula so that we have all of our heights on one side and our distances on the other, we get that the minus the height of the object divided by the height of the image is equal to the distance the object is away from the mirror minus the radius divided by the radius minus the distance the image is away from the mirror. Now we have two components that are exactly the same. We have minus the height of the object divided by the height of the image and we also have that down here. By equating these two equal to each other we get this component here is equal to this component here. With some algebraic manipulation, we get 2 divided by the radius of the circle is equal to 1 over the distance the object is away from the mirror plus 1 over the distance the image is away from the mirror. Substituting in that our radius is 2 times our focal length, this simplifies down to giving 1 over the focal length is equal to 1 over the distance the object is away from the mirror plus 1 over the distance the image is away from the mirror. Therefore, we've derived our spherical mirror equation. In summary, we've derived the spherical mirror equation by relating the different triangles that exist as an object and an image are produced. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.